So, religion. It's one of the ways you could probably win a Civ game at some point. And it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Imagine, right? I know there is this big fucking crab in the sky. And if you don't behave, if you don't spread the gospel, he will squeeze your balls and crush them, instantly banning you from heaven. Deuteronomy 23.1. I have to spread this out to people. But here's the issue. Religions have religious pressure. So if you take one city, everyone around them slowly starts believing that shit. It's like a cancer. I <laughs> get it, crap. But here's the issue. Everyone else also has religious pressure. So you're sat there and you just have to try and fight and fight and fight through their shit while they're fighting back as well. Okay, I'm whipping out the trusty metaphor, right? D imagine you're on a seesaw and you want your end of the seesaw to stay on the bottom. You could sit there until the other kid got bored and got off. You could find something heavy and hold on to it. You could, uh, you could convince all the other people to come sit on your side. You could just go get a stick and hit the kid with it. But no, no, what you're gonna do is push down, which will then, shockingly, make the seesaw go up and then back down again? What? Look, look, uh, this sounds fucking stupid. Hold on, let me explain, right? You have to make missionaries to spread your religion. But just like in real life, every time you do missionary, it gets a little more expensive. But you can do theological combat, which unlike real combat, which luckily for me, everyone else was involved in, they, they literally fought over this random place because they thought it had a funny name. Not to mention Sam randomly killing city-state. It's better for me to have those cities creating me troops than it is to let you guys gain stuff from them just being existent. That's true, Sam. But would that not yeah, be a little That's true, cringe? but I think... I have theological combat, which is a lot less cool than it sounds. Because, yes, you can kill missionaries, but given they die after three conversions, it's like mugging a homeless person. You have done nothing. You have changed nothing. You have just been a bit of a dick. That's it. It's so pointless. I don't... I don't have any clips to put in, because no one does it, because it's... it's... It, don't do it. The only way to actually win with religion, right, is to slowly, slowly force your way into someone's base. And every single step, you have to make sure everything around it is owned by you to counter the religious pressure. And even then, there's even more religious pressure from everywhere else. So you have to keep refilling that spot. And then you keep going and you keep pushing forward. And you have to dedicate so, so many resources to even just taking one city religion-wise, and you don't even get to keep it. But all it takes to actually take a city is, with all your spiritual warfare, someone can just walk up and show you how painfully, painfully unready you are for a real war. It doesn't matter how many people you've convinced with your religion, and how much random bullshit you've gained with that. Oh wow, wow. A, a 10% growth rate, let's go. When it takes you 50 turns to take a single city with fucking trebuchets, by the time I'd finished my siege, Sam had nukes. And uh, bringing it back to my trusty seesaw metaphor, right? Nuking someone is like if you wanted the other end of the seesaw. So you went back in time and retroactively on the night of their conception handed them a condom and took the red wine away from their parents, okay? That is much, much more effective than swinging on the seesaw. Religion sucks. It sucks. It's a bad build, okay? Luckily, for some reason, we got disconnected from the game. <laughs> no clue why. So we just had to use this uh, random stock footage instead. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Sam. Sam, don't do it. Yeah, get nuked, Will. Yeah, I definitely didn't forget to build the right thing to build nukes, Will. You no, lose, no. Yeah, fuck, Delhi's no more. I told you I'd get a comeback for the city of hot men. I'm going to go back to having hot, sweaty, gay sex with the city of hot men, loser. Yep. Loser, idiot. That was Bye. so sick. Bye. I didn't actually rage quit. I did, it was like ironic. It was an ironic rage quit and then we genu genuinely couldn't figure out how to get it back. I would never rage quit. That's a bitch move. I wouldn't do that.